26, November 30th. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. This video has to go out today. So. All right, I want you to imagine mm. that it is the day before, day of, somewhere in the vicinity of when we conceived our first child. Mm. If you could go back in time and tell yourself something about what to expect from parenting or how to prepare for parenting or maybe how to avoid parenting, what would you say? <laughs> This video is sponsored by Squarespace. The all-in-one platform to build your dream website. With Squarespace, design is a breeze. Whether you're starting a passion project or launching a business, Squarespace empowers you to create a stunning online presence. Try it out yourself and go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash shambooty to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Now enjoy the video. First of all, I would never tell my younger self to avoid parenting because everything that is about to get said in this video comes with the caveat of it is 100% worth it because there's times where you get with them and they do something very very small like hold your finger that just makes you forget about all the times that you had to clean up their yes. mess, all the their times. poop, yes. their pee, they're washing their sheets. You walk out and they got into the cupboard and spilled all the salt everywhere. Or they take your breakfast sandwiches and put them in a pot <laughs> and put water all in them. Parenting is just realizing that you're giving your entire life force to these parents. They take your sleep, they take your drinks, they take your food, they take your time. What do they give back? Memories. What I would tell my younger self would be set aside as much time that you think you have and cross that out by more than half to also acknowledge that you, one, have instincts. I would also tell my younger self to explain to anybody who doesn't have kids. I don't even know how to say this without sounding rude, <laughs> so I'm not going to say that part. Okay, whisper it to me. I want to hear it. The camera did not deserve um, that. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> and let me get through this. <laughs> but if you see me struggling, tap me to help me out. And not with words. <laughs> with your time. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> don't tell me it's going to get better. And don't tell me that you're doing great. Mommy, we're ready to cook. This is not going to be a good idea, guys. You're going to get stomach ache. These are not complimenting flavors, guys. Something that I just think everybody should do before they have kids is have an honest conversation with the person they're going to have kids with and with their assumed support circle and really ask, what does this baby look like in your life? How do you imagine yourself stepping into this role? And what help do you need in order to bring that vision to fruition? I am so, I'm so in awe of you as a parent. Yeah, I am like incredibly in awe of you. And I think I wish everybody to have in a parenting partner. And I say parenting partner because it doesn't have to be the mom and the dad or the parents, quote unquote. It could be the grandparent. If you just, whoever it is, who has devoted themselves to doing the parenting thing with you. What I have in you in a parenting partner is life-saving. It is like sanity saving because you're not trying to avoid the shitty parts. I joke with you sometimes about like going to the store and taking a long time, but <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'm actually happy for you because the fact that you dive into the shit and you devote yourself to it, I am happy to give you any time. There's times where I'm like, Let's just watch TV. And I know you feel the same way, but you're like, no, 
I'm going to engage them. I'm going to take them outside. I'm going to do this. And so that always is like something that is inspiring for me because when I'm done and want to take the easy route and be like, here, take this iPad or, you know, all right, let's just put on Cocoa Mountain for a second. <laughs> um, you always kind of like push towards let's engage them, um, which is, I don't know how you do it sometimes because I you go through the same 24 that I go through and you'll do it in the last hour where I'm like, how does she have the energy to do this? <laughs> you know, this is not like a hard and fast, like, you know, widely recognized theory, but there's a belief that by the time they're five, their personality is locked in. And so I just think like, it's just gonna be shitty. And I know that. So I'm not trying to get out of the shittiness because I expect it to be that. And I know that if we devote ourselves to that now, on the other side, there's going to be kids that we really like, adults we really like. And that's why I had kids. I had kids because I wanted adults that I really liked, that I was really proud of, and I wanted adults that felt the way that we feel about our life. I love you, Sashi! It makes that decision a little bit easier. And then again, having a partner who puts themselves in the line of fire, that's what allows me to have that extra energy at the end of the day. With Rai, it's like, it's, it's, it's such an uh, interesting dynamic because this the very thing that I like love about her is that she's so herself and that she's so strong head strong minded and she's so like once she has her eyes locked on something it's all she can think about um it's the same thing that drives me crazy yeah you know she'll do something and I'll be like pulling my hair out and then there's sometimes where she'll do she'll display the same personality traits that I'm like that's my girl. Yeah. I think if I was to go back in time and tell myself one thing is that the mess is literally unbelievable. It's like times two because it's you have to like watch the hurricane and then clean up after the hurricane every single day. I remember having an aha about the style and parenting that we have. Um, we're paying for it now. But my upbringing... The mess that they created just wasn't tolerated. But what it created in the household was like, I never felt like I could be myself around my parents because there was such a strict dictatorship that was translated between uh, cleaning and chores and all those things that like, it didn't allow me to like really express myself with my parents. And so, yes, we're paying for it now. And we're doing our job in shaping that by making Rai clean her room or making Rai clean up her toys before she moves on to the next thing. Um, but the real issue is, is like, we just don't prioritize being that disciplinary on them cleaning right that second. Yes, we allowed you to play with this slime on the counter, but now... You got it everywhere. You, you probably went and grabbed some cups of water to like play with your slime. That spilled everywhere. And this small thing of letting them play with slime that we get to engage them, engage with them with turns into like destroying the kitchen. I think we prioritize different things. I think that's such a good point, yeah. Because, and I know that I'm worse than you. Like you have higher standards of like cleanliness and conduct for the kids that I have um, I'm thinking of like the yogurt for example oh my gosh <laughs> I mean no one is to say there is no parenting rule book that allows you to raise the perfect kid because there's no such thing as the perfect human being or the perfect adult but I think that you just make measured decisions um, and I like the decisions that we're making um, Ida said this actually and she said growing up she never knew a relaxed mom like her mom was always stressed, her mom was always worried, her mom was always overwhelmed. And she's like, it's my vision for myself as a mother that my children are gonna know a relaxed mom. And I really hold on to that too. So 
not micromanaging them, allowing them to be themselves, also gives space for me to be myself. It also creates a lot of mess. <laughs> and it also creates maybe a ripple effect of like sort of awkward social scenarios. But hopefully in the long run, it, it, it pays off. And I'm enjoying it. I'm, in, I'm enjoying the process of parenting maybe more than I thought I would. And I'm insanely grateful for the literal, magical, awesome kids that we have. Amen. Yeah. No, I thought I would love parenting. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Um, so I, I'm enjoying it more than I thought I would, but I did think that I would love it. But the sickness, the constant neurovirus, the constant colds, the constant always fighting something. Um, If I know that my body is like, bruh, give me a break. I know yours because you have been suffering nine months before me. (laughs) So, So I just like, you know... I feel for you. Um, And that's why I'm always in awe when you decide to take a more difficult path because you know what the long-term effects will be on our kids. It's it's cool to watch. On that note, let's give our bodies a break. What bodies? (laughs) The ones that we live in. It's not ours anymore. (laughs) (laughs) What's up? Uh, Popping in real quick to give a shout out to the sponsor of this video here, Squarespace. Now, Squarespace, that platform quite literally keeps this channel up and running. Squarespace is more than just a website builder. It's your partner in creativity and business growth. With designed intelligence, you can craft a personalized website that truly represents your brand. I mean, it's like having a design team at your fingertips. And let's talk about business. Squarespace Payments makes managing transactions easy with flexible payment options for your customers. I mean, nobody likes to get to the payment option and have to go through a whole bunch of stuff that they're not familiar with. We built Shan's website on Squarespace, and let me tell you guys, it was a game changer because we were able to customize it from the SEO tools to flexible payment options to design intelligence to Fluid Engine. I'm telling you, it is all here, and I am no coder, so we were able to customize Shan's website to a T. So, are you ready to start your Squarespace website journey? Go to squarespace.com and go get that free trial. Go play around, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash shambooty to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Trust me, it's worth it. 